What's going on YouTube? Marine X back at it again. Let's talk about de-influencing. This is this is something I talked about in the past. I link up previous videos when I basically just kind of poo-pooed some of your favorite items and this is just more stuff added to the list. Everybody seems to be an influencer nowadays. Some stuff has reached max peak influence like. I guess myself would be considered an influencer, but some of the stuff you just don't need or you may feel pressured that you need it because of Instagram or Twitter or X or whatever the hell they're calling it nowadays. And I'm here to say you don't need the stuff. If you want the stuff, get the stuff. If you have the stuff and you feel a little bit butthurt about the stuff that I'm saying, then go pound sand. But other than that, this is just, you know, me saying that we can de-influence some of this crap because at the end of the day, it, it, it is, it's more of a fad in my opinion than anything else. And this is just looking at history. The first thing that I would have to mention hands down would be titanium everything. Now, don't get it twisted. I sell a titanium whistle on my website. I carried a titanium knife last week. I got titanium shit. What I mean by de-influencing it is like, I don't feel the need to not only carry the crap, but take the most beautiful, perfect photo, get that thing on Instagram so that you yourself may decide to do the same thing. My titanium knife has all sorts of snail trails and usage and has been through all sorts of hell. Anything else that I carry, if it makes a photo, if it makes it something like that, I'm not trying to influence you to make that purchase. A lot of folks that are doing it, I think are doing it for more of a fad. I get it, titanium is tough. The reason that the industry has shifted towards titanium is because the shit is tough. It's good at holding off germs, especially the scales on a knife. I mean, it, it, make, it normally makes it heavier, especially than it, it's my Carta counterparts or G10 or, or something like that. Is, is the titanium something that you think that you need? Think about your everyday life. Think about like the task I use my knife for, cutting boxes. I use my knife today literally to prune some plants, cut off some of the old parts of plants, prying apart two pieces of meat. I know I shouldn't be using it for that type of crap. Cutting away small pieces of plastic off of some of my camera equipment, cutting tape so that I can mount something to my computer desk. Would titanium scales on my knife had made any of these better? Of course, the probably not. Am I doing it wrong? If you don't have titanium in your pocket and you don't desire it because you want something that for any particular reason, uh, like maybe it's toughness or it's germ prevention or something like that, don't feel the need to go out and get it because of all the influence on the gram. Next on my list for the de-influence, I hope you do this immediately, Knipix pliers. Whether it's the Cobra or it's any of their other variants, it's the all black. You freaking peasants are not using the Knipix pliers when is the last time you were doing any of your tasks on a daily basis and you thought to yourself this would be significantly better if i had my knipix pliers no what you're doing is you're getting them you're staging them if you feel like you need them or you want them or you maybe they'll be good for your job you're an hvac or plumbing or a carpenter or uh, just that type of dad or handy person that needs to have them around, get them. Or if you just fucking want them, then buy them. But don't feel like to be an influencer, you need a fucking pair of Cobra or anything else by Knipix. I don't see the reason why I'm seeing folks nowadays with a pair of a, a pair of Knipix pliers with a sack or something from Victor, uh, Victorinox. And this is like the perfect pair, pair, pair. And it probably is a decent pair. But that doesn't mean you need the shit. All right. Next thing we have got to de-influence it, it, it's it's just getting a little ridiculous at this point if you have a lanyard on your knife because it's a fixie or to slip joint with no pocket clip or maybe some other knife with no pocket clip and it's deep down in your pocket and you want me to be able to grab that thing up out of there easier put a lanyard on it makes so much sense matter of fact you have a good head on your shoulders but if you feel the need to lanyard fob pull thing bead or contraption your piece up don't feel like you need to do it don't run out and get 550 cord or a lower grade of nylon or something like that and feel like you got to learn all these amazing knots for the gram it's not a fucking requirement and i feel like we're getting such down the rabbit hole of wanting everything to look a certain way it needs to fit in the pouch a certain way in your pocket a certain way that you're getting away from functionality if you want a fucking lanyard on your knife or on your multi-tool or 
or on whatever else, then put it on there. It's not that big of a deal. Something else that's not that big of a deal, let me show you. Bit drivers on the go. I'm so I'm so out of this influence campaign that I don't even have a cool bit driver to show that I would take on the go. This is a bit driver for my iFixit kit, which stays on my knife sharpening station. This is the bit driver set that's on my knife sharpening station. You heard what I said. It's on my knife sharpening station. If I need to take some scales off or replace a bearing or fix something in a knife or multi-tool, there's a whole station for it. If something happens when I'm on the go, then I have redundancies. Something happens to my knife, I got a utility knife or a fixed blade or another pocket knife or something. And so do you freaking peasants. Why do you have bit drivers on the go? You tell yourself you're going to make a repair to your shit when you're out and about. You tell yourself you're going to fix your buddy's knife. No, the fuck you're not. And if you do, you're fucking weirdo. Now, if you are doing that type of stuff, I'm not saying that you're a weirdo because you're doing it. I'm just saying that don't put yourself out there as being that guy that needs to have bit drivers on the go. One of my buddies came over the other day, had a CRKT tuna that looked like complete shit. I don't even know if it was on, you know, ceramic ball. But I don't know what it was on, but the shit didn't work that great. You know, what we did. We fucking set it down in my knife station. We took it apart. We figured it out. We KPO'd it up. We got it going. If I was at his house and it was like that, I would just give him fucking advice. And I'm not about to sit down. I'm that guy. We're supposed to be eating finger food and talking to our wives and enjoying ourselves. And now I'm taking apart a bit driver on the go, their knife. Hopefully he has the shit at his house so we can just do it. Am I going to be taking it apart at a Walmart? Am I going to be taking it apart in the parking lot of a Target? Am I going to be taking it apart while I'm at a Bye Bye Baby sitting out? No. Don't worry about carrying a bit driver on the go. I want you to really think about the last time you used it. I'm not saying don't carry a slotted or a Phillips, maybe even a Torque 6 with you. Maybe you have some t scenarios where you would need them. I have a pry bar with me right now that I've been carrying and trying to force myself to carry because I also said you don't need to carry pry bars in the past. It has a fucking bit driver, and I don't fucking know why. You're staging them for that magnificent shot that you're going to take and post on the gram. Just like you're doing for the last item, and I don't own any of this shit. Maybe I'll have it one day, but I don't have a need for it. And that is autumn, autumn, autumn. Get out the way. Who got a watch? Who got the time? I'm raising the clock. Even in my feelings. If you like autumn, buy autumn. If you feel like you need Autumn because of the photos that you see or the hype that you're hearing in the community, don't fucking buy Autumn. It is designed, first off, shout out to your boy Ron Kwok because I learned a lot watching his video. Autumn is a trademark, I guess, owned by the Saudi Arabians. And But the actual material is a hard plastic that's designed to resist a level of heat in certain industrial uses. If you're an HVAC guy or somebody where you're gonna be putting your stuff through high use cases, it's very lightweight. The scales, it looks dope. The photos look fucking phenomenal. Don't feel the need to pursue the autumn. It's it, it's right now, it has us by the goddamn kidney stones. And I don't understand why everybody is all on its sack. It looks good, but I guarantee none of you peasants, except for those that are in the trades, need autumn for its utilitarian uses for its hardness for its resist resistance to heat just like i'm here in my man cave where i have polyaspartic floors i could have got epoxy or i could have just left the shit bare bones concrete but i had a need and a use case for it if you don't have a need or use case for it these five categories of items don't feel like you need to go out there and be an influencer for them if you are influencing for you and know, i made you feel some type of way pound sand like i said earlier now you're going to see me carrying some of this shit. I own some of this stuff. I enjoy some of this stuff. My point of the video is to say, don't feel like you need to get it just to influence or keep up with the Joneses. It's the same concept as a bra getting a BBL because she needs to make sure she has a fat ass or making sure that she gets... The, the lift on the chest area near the pectoralis major and the pectoralis minor or dudes getting their faces done, whatever. Don't feel like you need to keep up with the EDC Joneses because we ain't nothing but a bunch of peasants just like you.